Hi, this is John Kelly, 6x6 Design, and I'm here to help you with do-it-yourself search engine optimization. And this video is, is geared, this whole tutorial article actually, is geared toward all those out there looking to help themselves, especially if you got a content management website system like with WordPress or something else, and uh, you want to enhance the search optimization of your website. In other words, get more customers, obviously, to come in and visit you. Well, you do have the power to do so. And especially when you have the ability to go into your website and change your content, you have the ability to uh, steer your website in the eyes of a search engine. Now, uh, of course, nobody has the ability to influence the search engines totally, unless, of course, you own that search engine. But uh, keep in mind, we can follow the guidelines of search engines. And number one guideline is simply this. Make unique, useful, relevant content on your website for somebody to search for. It's exactly what you want when you look for something. It's something, if you were to use a search engine like Google and you're looking for something, that's exactly what you would expect. Well, give the search engines that. Uh, trying to spam them with putting multiple words that you think are important to the search engines all over your, your website it doesn't help you. If anything, it can hurt you. Search engines are pretty smart. When they look at your pages, they can look and see all those extra keywords and say, why is he doing this? Or why is this person adding so many words? Oh, I know why. It's because they're trying to spam me. So guess what? You get penalized and you end up way down and past page 30 of the page results, the search results. So let's do it the right way. And let's talk about how you can help yourself here. Well, first off, we're on my blog, website uh, SEO tips and tricks. And in this article, uh, I want to let you know that uh, I do have a couple of articles already that you should be aware of, uh, especially for those who are looking to start from the beginning and looking to you know sit down and, and learn about this stuff. Well, I have down here on the right side, I have uh, recent posts that I have in my blog. One of the search engine optimization and your business 101. And basically, uh, that article is to give you a primer about how search engines work, what you're looking at as far as search results, the uh, organic versus, in other words, free results versus pay per click, what's the difference between the two, etc. How to look at it. And then, of course, keyword discovery. And, you know, keywords are the words that we actually use when we search for somebody on the internet. Uh, but we want to make sure that your website has the proper words for somebody to find you. Well, this tells you about keywords, how they work in relationship with a website, how to discover the ones right for you, and then has, the second part of that is uh, tools and techniques used to find words. Uh, so you probably find these three articles very useful to you. Very easy reading, nothing complex here. Uh, I would suggest it be a good launching pad for you if you're, if you're very serious about helping yourself uh, with your website. But anyway, uh, getting back to our article here, I am going to talk about keywords and such. and We're going to use an actual website here to show you uh, what's happened so far. And Many of you have a website like this. Uh, if you're with the perfect color and cut group, uh, you have a website very similar to the um, similar to this template. And this is Sharon Dion in uh, Peter Peterborough, New Hampshire. And we're going to use her website as an example here. And this website has been online for less than a month, actually, and it's actually doing quite well already. Uh, so we want to talk about a couple specifics in this particular one and just show you what's happening with this website and why we did what we did on it. Uh, first things first, forget about how the website looks. Whether yours looks like this or not, I don't care and neither do the search engines. Why? Because they can't see the pictures. They can't see what it looks like. Uh, all they can see is this. And I'm going to show you a quick bird's eye view of what a, a search engine may look like. And I'm going to turn on the uh, Firefox browser. I was just Internet Explorer. Now I'm in Firefox. And uh, I'm going to go to the View menu. And then I'm going to go to Page Style. And I'm going to click on No Style. Now what I did is I just took all the styling away from the web page. It's a little tool built into the browser. And what we're doing is we're actually looking at what a, what a search engine sees as far as content. Now the very first thing on our page that it actually reads, and it reads top to bottom, left to right, just the way, the same way that we would read. Uh, it sees call today and a phone number. Now obviously this phone number can be important for several different reasons. Uh, one of them being Skype, uh, but the other things <coughs> 
excuse me, that I'm more focused on is making sure that words on our website are up here and the top of our paragraph. Now, one thing that could help this website is doing exactly that, making sure more important words about what we're about and where we do it is within the top paragraph of our website. And believe it or not, it actually is. This website actually does have a lot of those elements in this already. Um, but regardless, we'll get into that more of that later, but, but right now I want you to just understand what we're looking at right now is basically what a search engine would see, is just content. And of course if I scroll down this page you will see uh, links and you'll see some images. Now keep in mind these images only come up because they actually they are actually links on the page. Um, but if you notice we're looking at the page actually in its order and this is just the home page. So, uh, and one of the things that was most important is we made sure in this template that we built the content to appear first on the page because that's really what we want search engines to find is the important content to figure out what you're all about. Okay, so that'll give you a good example about what that website is doing. Now, uh, if we go back to the actual website itself, we can see. Um, I'm going to go back to the Internet Explorer browser here and uh, what I want to do is I want to go back and, and do an actual search for this website and what I did is I went to Google and I typed in best Peterborough salon and just click search and as you can see these are the search results that actually come up for this website as you can see Sharon's site is actually coming up number one page one of the result search results uh, on the first of ten out of 119,000 for the words best Peterborough and Salon. Now, as you can see, that's not bad. You can't get any better than number one on page one of Google. And, that, and congratulations, Sharon, for your website, uh, especially for less than a month. Um, first off, search engines don't actually, like Google especially, don't really take websites serious, seriously until they are actually been online for at least a year or more. Reason being is a lot of websites come and go on a regular basis. So uh, uh, one of the things I did tell you are, um, before was make sure that your domain name, um, in this case the domain name, best salon in peterborough.com, trying to get that renewed, uh, you know, make sure it's not renewable for at least another four or five years. Okay, because believe it or not, the search engines actually know the expiration date of your domain name. If they see you only renewed it for a year, you know what? Um, they're not going to take you quite as seriously as you would if you were saying, I'm going to be around for at least five years because I invested in it. Um, so yes, that is a factor as far as ranking you. Now, it's a very small one out of several, several factors, okay? But it is another piece that can help you. So it's one thing that you can do for yourself already. Renew your main domain name for your website at least five years. Okay. Uh, secondly, you won't have to deal with it for five years, so it's a nice thing to do. And usually your domain registrar will give you a discount for doing it for that many years. Now, anything more than five years is great, so by all means, go for it. I think the maximum you can do it for now is 11 years anyway, I think. Uh, so anyway, but... <clears throat> Let's take a look at a couple elements here of this. First off, Best Peterborough Salon. Notice, notice it's bold. In fact, if you look down the page, you see the words Peterborough Salon, Best, all bold anywhere in these titles. Okay. Well, that was done selectively, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video, the next part of this uh, series, is the page elements of this website. What did we do to this website to make it and help it and what are you going to be able to do to edge, take it even further. So that's step number one um, of our tutorial series and I'll see you in the next video.